Hello Elites and welcome back to Minecraft Elite vs Wild, this is episode 124 and in this episode, right now I am sitting in a college student's dorm in the college of uh, uh, the University of Salem of New Salem I believe that is, yep University of New Salem, so here we are on the top floor of this building here we're gonna go ahead and go to the rooftop actually and um, let me show you what project we're gonna do today as, far, as you can see by the title well, you can't really see it during the daytime, but when I turn it to nighttime, you'll see that we are going to be doing a canal. A new canal that's going to go straight across that land right there. So, uh, as you can see, if I could only point to the screen, you guys could see my finger. It's, uh, you can see where my little cursor is at, so top right, kind of. Yeah, that little island. So let's go ahead and, um, put the map away. And jump off. My loans are too high! Splat side. <laughs> No, you know it is unsafe for a college students to be in a building that high because you know they could do that. But no. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we're gonna go ahead and start with. Uh, this might be a short video because I will have to cut a lot of it out because it is a process doing um, terraforming of sorts, with whether it's flattening or canals or all kinds of other stuff. Um, so I'm just gonna right now replace all these torches that I marked here with redstone torches. So that way I can uh, place TNT right on top of those and just go in a line, you know? Just so I can blow up the land. Because first we're going to blow it up to mark where we want it. Then we're going to um, mark the edges of it so that way we know how wide we want it. And then um, we're going to... I would do more, but I'm trying to do one at a time so they don't fly everywhere. And so it doesn't like lag my recording. I don't want that to happen. Because then it'll be out of sync, and I hate out of sync videos. Alright. So, um, yeah. We gotta mark the width of it, and then we got to, you know, scoop out all the dirt that's in the middle. Which I'll probably do off camera, because that's gonna take too long. Okay, there we go. I was hoping it wouldn't blow up the track. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a cut here, you guys, and come back when I am done with it. And we start marking the, uh, land. Alright, that probably wasn't that much of a cut, but that's okay. Um, I want to show you guys real quick how to do a quad explosion. A quad explosion is much powerful, much more powerful than a regular explosion, because it's going to be four at once. Ooh! Oh, we killed little Wilbur there. Damn. Oh well, some bacon for somebody. So, the next thing we're going to do right now is we're going to mark the center of where we want this uh, new canal to go through. So we're going to go ahead and go tear through here. And I'm going to go all the way to the other side and make sure it's very visible from above. So we're going to only, not only dig through, but we're also going to, it's going to get dark too. It's going to get real dark in here, so we're just going to pop holes in the top every once in a while. Just so we can see. Because, uh, oh, shoot, there's water. Eh, we got to get rid of that water. Because there's going to be water here already, so. Yeah, we have a long way to go. So let's go ahead and hurry up, please. Do it best, dad. I love how some of this is short enough for me to just have a natural, like, skylight at the top. Some of it I have to, you know, dig up, but, like that. But, um, some of it's short enough, like this. Alright, now we're going to go into this tall mountain part. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. We have until, where's the end of it there? Oh, shit, we didn't even put TNT down, guys. Alright, let's go ahead and put TNT down. Do a quad explosion here, because it's a tall mountain. And get rid of that stuff. Woo! Uh, those, uh, those quad explosions really send you backwards. Alright, let's just do regular ones here. Well, fuck it. Alright, ready? Uh, ah, those ones are so huge. So, uh, you can use quad explosions to take down buildings if you don't want them and you want them down faster. Uh, try not to do them so close to the ground if you want the ground to be perfect, because it will take a giant chunk out. So, yeah. All right, there's the other side. Now we're just going to go ahead and go through and rip out the top so we can make this very visible from above so we know exactly where it's located at if we want to come back to it. Cause, well, I mean, I'll know where to come back to it. It's just I'm, I'm helping teach some new builders, okay? <laughs> Unless you're an expert builder, then you're good. you're good. You know what to do. All right. Keep going through. I don't know how much I'm going to cut out, honestly. <laughs> I don't want it to be like a six minute video. Which would be nice, but... It's more about time. Alright. 
I think we're almost done already. We're by the tracks now. Here we are. Okay. Sorry about the pouring commentary. I'm just trying to like concentrate. Okay, there we go. So that's the middle of this. That's the middle of the river. Let's first, let's also get rid of this water. So we're going to get a lava bucket and an empty bucket. We're going to block that off so it stops flowing in annoyingly. Alright, and there it is. Okay, I was just watching to see if it had another, like, like um, area to start out. Now, to take care of these very easily, you just take care of the edges first. Then you work your way into the middle, because as soon as you can... If you can go really fast at collecting water like this, see? It just, like, it just disappears. Alright, that row's gone. This row's three. Usually it's easy to do it with, like, smaller amount numbers. So, like, one, three... And then this is three, this is two, I think this is four. It's four now because the fifth one got cut off. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, this is how you take down a river. Most people will just like put blocks all over just to like, you know, stop the water. But nah, I like doing it this way. It's kind of, it takes your time, but it's also peaceful. And you know, just watch the water flow down. It's very easy. Oh, an infinite pool. Oh, gone. Usually from an infinite pool like that, you can't ever, like, let the water go away. It'll just never, ever go away. But, you know, look at that. It looks like a giant laser shot through the ground, like, and cut it in half. Alright, so now we're going to mark the width of it. How wide do we want this canal to be? Will it need a bridge? A nice, beautiful bridge? Or, like, a little tiny foot bridge? What? So I think we're going to go out this far. And I think now I can cut out and come back. When I believe we are done with how much. I'll be right back. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. If I cut out anymore, it's going to be a really short video. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, we're almost done with marking the width of it. Um, I also want you guys to know, while I talk for this last minute or whatever, probably, um, I'm going to let you know that, you know, you guys can go ahead and leave comments on the series all you want. Tell me, do you want to be a doctor in the city? Do you want to be a CEO of some kind of company that you made up? And uh, where do you want to be lo located, headquarters-wise, and all kinds of other stuff. Go ahead and comment. Make this city more lively. I'm trying to make this city more fun for you guys so it has a purpose to it. And eventually I can put it up for download, you know. Uh, not that I know how to yet, but I will. <laughs> so this is the river, by the way, guys. I enjoyed doing this canal for you guys. So uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe today. Um, I'll see you in the next episode. And so, goodbye, leaks. Goodbye.